So, Refunk Junk Paint by Laura. What is it? It is a paint that is specially formulated to be used on furniture, cabinets, we think bathroom, kitchen cabinets, um, all kinds of things, metal. I use it on all my, my art projects. I'll show you, I just did this over the weekend. Look at these cute little Easter eggs. That's flamingo, isn't that pretty? I'll show you these real quick. Sunshine yellow, or sunflower yellow. What am I saying, sunshine? And uh, robin's egg blue. Of course you have to do a robin's egg blue. Isn't that pretty? So, okay. So, I digress. So you can use it for your crafting projects. Um, are we chalk paint? No. Chalk paint has a powdery additive in it. And typically to get any sort of smooth finish, you have to wax it. And I know in the past when I've used that kind of product, by the time it got to waxing, I was over it and didn't want to do it. I'm looking for something simple. So that's when I got turned on to Refunk Junk Paint. Um, so the paint has um, evolved over time. Um, it's actually manufactured here in Georgia by a, a local family, the Whitlows. Um, Laura was a furniture flipper and uh, was getting frustrated with the products that she had out in the market. It was expensive, it was hard to use, taking forever, blah, blah, blah. Her husband uh, was in the chemical um, field and she approached him and said, can you come up with something for me? And he did, he developed a paint for her. And that product, that paint has, uh, that formulation has developed and improved over time. And I, I just absolutely love our current formula. It's the resin formula. This actually was developed with the thought of maybe just providing this line of paint for outdoor use. But then they realized, why do that? Let's just have one, one paint that we offer because it's beautiful for indoor as well as outdoor. So, not a chalky additive. It's a resin paint, which is very smooth. It dries extremely hard, very durable, harder than enamel, okay? Um, and it dries from the, the inside out. So when you paint something with this product, and you're not sure if it's um, dried yet to go to put your next coat on. When you feel this paint and it feels dry to you, you can know that it's dried all the way to where it hits the surface out. Okay, that's opposite for most paints. Um, let's see what else do I wanna say. So this paint has built in UV protection. You can use it to paint your front door, your back door. Um, I'm actually, I've got a potting bench outside that I'm going to pick a color. That's the hardest part, in my opinion, as far as picking the color. And I'm going to uh, uh, probably paint that and give it, uh, give it some love this spring, summer. Um, so, yeah, you can use it to paint metal. Um, like, I've painted lamps. I've held classes where we've painted lamps and vases. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so, very durable and good for that. Um, so one really cool thing, particularly in this day and age when we're, you know, we're sheltering in place, we also need to support local and small businesses. Guys, are they going to go away? So just wanted to point out that this is a local family run, family owned business in Georgia. This is the manufacturer Rethunk Junk. I am a local small business and I run my business through another small business called Status Home Design. Unfortunately, we're having to keep the doors closed and just do um, appoint pickups by appointment right now. Um, when that changes, we have to throw open the doors and have a great party and, and have just have a good time. But until then, this is what we're doing. Anyway, support your local businesses, whether it's paint or anything else that you can. Um, and of course, keeping safe, we, we need to keep safe. So um, I'm gonna start with, like you walked into my booth and I just happened to be there and you'll go, okay, so what's so great about this paint and how do I use it? Well, I've told you what's so great about the paint. So let's talk about how you use it. Uh, the first step to any successful painting project is to clean your piece really well and this is our secret sauce. It's called the prep. Now, I tell people I'm extremely honest 
and I do not want to oversell you. Matter of fact, I talk people out of paint, buying too much paint, which is probably not the smartest thing to do, but I'd rather you come back and say, that was a great experience and I want to pick another color and do something else. So that's what I do. Okay, so the prep. We don't have to sand or strip our projects before we paint. And this is why. This is going to, you're going to spray it on your, on your piece and you're going to take a clean uh, cloth, just an old t-shirt that you cut up, and you're going to wipe it. And you're probably going to do it a couple of times. And what that is going to do is remove any dirt, grease in the case of kitchen, grime from hair products in the case of a bathroom, uh, wax. Okay, no paint likes wax. So you want to make sure that you're getting that off. Um, typically, the prep is going to do that beautifully for you. Um, if you're doing a kitchen, or you're doing a bathroom, I want you to do one more step. I sell these, these are, this is a used one. Um, these are scrubby sp sponges, basically. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray, and you're gonna use this, and you're gonna spray again, and then you're gonna use this. Now that's for kitchen and bathroom cabinets, or if you have an old piece that's just got a lot of waxy buildup on it, you wanna get that wax off. If you don't have access to this, Go to the grocery store, get one of these, okay? That part right there is what I'm talking about. It's just abrasive enough to help loosen up that, that, that grime and that waxy buildup without damaging and scratching your piece. Um, so that's that. Sandpaper, no. The only thing I would use sandpaper on, and I would only use super, uh, this is what, 220, fine sandpaper, is if I had really deep scratches. Um, the paint is gonna fill in a little bit, but it's not gonna fill in deep gouges. So you are gonna have to take care of those little things, but you don't have to sand the whole piece. So, you know, just do the little area that needs a little loving, and uh, maybe when it gets to painting, you might put a little paint on that first, let it dry, and then do your coat. So, there's that. All right, old pieces. I'm talking old. Okay, first of all, is it a priceless antique? Don't paint it. Is it just a piece? You hear Charlie barking. If it's just a piece that's, um, you know, belonged to great Aunt Martha and you inherited it and what are you going to do with it and your kids don't want it or your kids, you gave it to your kids and they're like, what do I do with this? It doesn't fit. Paint it. Run your life short. Enjoy it. Um, the old, old finishes like that, my experience has been that they have tannins which will bleed through. So, uh, if I have an old piece of mahogany furniture um, or something just really, really dark, I will typically do a coat of either Tough Top, which is this, which is a clear sealant, or I'll just count on an extra coat of paint and I will use that probably in driftwood or medium gray kind of helps uh, give you that barrier um, I, I, there's another vendor and she is very talented and very knowledgeable and she actually uses our um, metallic pearl as, as her base um, which is a great thing to have on hand anyway so I would say either tough top metallic pearl or um, driftwood so um, how much paint do you need? All right. I stock these sizes. This is the sample. This is eight ounces, and this is the pint. This is 16 ounces. We go up to quarts. We go up to gallons, okay? I'm going to go through what each will do. So an eight-ounce jar, this is what we, when you take one of my classes in status, this is what I'm going to have you get. And in our classes, we actually are painting a small piece of furniture, like a small side table, small end table, small nightstand. You're going to walk out of class with probably three-fourths of this jar still, okay? So one of these jars will typically do two small to medium-sized nightstands or end tables, okay? All right, pint. Here we go. You've got a big dresser, triple dresser, or you know, a tall boy, or something like that. Um, this will do that. 
and you probably have some left over to maybe do that nightstand. All right, so why do you want a quart? Tort is two of these guys. A quart will typically do 10 linear feet, linear feet of kitchen or bathroom cabinet. So that's a certain height, right, typically. And it will do 10 linear feet, two coats. Um, so you can typically, most kitchens, I'm gonna say two to three quarts, which is a huge savings um, over, you know, going to, you know, the paint store and buying paint there. And this stuff dries hard, guys. It like dries like enamel. So the secret is prep well, clean it really well, let it dry, dries quickly. Paint. First coat's going to go on thin, or not super thin, but kind of thin. You want to coat everything really well. Dries, dries very quickly. I typically wrap my brush up between coats in a piece of saran wrap. I'm going to talk about brush in a minute. And then you go back, you put your second coat on. Depending on the color of the project you started with and the color you're going to, you're painting with, two, three coats, okay? Um, and I'll get into that more later on another video, but let me cover the paintbrush for a second. Um, we don't use any special brushes. You don't have to buy a fancy $20, $30 brush. This is just a good quality brush that you um, would use to, to paint trim or your walls with. It's a latex-based paint because our paint is soap and water cleanup. Yay! Low to no odor. I paint all the time inside my house. Um, I, you want to drop cloth, maybe get some blocks, put your, put your piece up on blocks, and, uh, and go to town. It's safe around the kitties, safe around um, your pets and low to no odor, I think I said that already. If you've got hypersensitivity odors, you might detect a little bit, but it's it's uh, dissipates very quickly, and um, I've, I've never really had any issues with that. Um, safe to use on uh, your nursery furniture for your babies, and of course for your children's furniture as well. Um, so, I think that's all I'm gonna hit today. I don't wanna bore you guys too much. I'll come back again another day. Oh, one last thing. Let me talk about Tough Top real quick. So you've painted your piece. You've done all your coats. It's beautiful. Do you need Tough Top? The, the resin paint actually has built-in protection already. But if you're doing a desktop, a tabletop, um, a nightstand, um, anything that you're going to be using frequently, maybe pulling things off of a, a, a bookshelf that you're actually going to be dragging things off of it, yes, I would actually tough top that. Um, no more than two coats is needed. It goes on very quickly, dries clear, and um, gives you that added protection. Uh, definitely use it on your kitchen and bathroom cabinetry as well. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's it. So. I can't read your comments right now. I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, any questions, I mean, I'm bored. I'm, you know, hit me up. I want to know what you want to know about, and um, I'll do my best to answer. If not directly, I might do a video. So uh, y'all take care. Stay safe out there, and I hope to see you guys really soon. Bye.